So in today's video, I'm building a power tool wall and charging station for the back wall of the shop. Um, I've been having all these chargers and all these power tools all over the place and I'm getting so sick of it. So I'm finally getting organized. Now I'm working with Craftsman on this video and they've got a brand new line of products out. So I'm using a lot of their products to build this and I'm also going to store a lot of them on the tool wall. I begin with cutting up the plywood for this build, and all in all, I'm using three sheets. I'm using the Craftsman cordless circular saw here, which is part of their V20 cordless system, and all the batteries can be used for all the tools in the series. The batteries also feature state of charge indicators, which I find very useful. So that way you can gauge at a quick glance if you need to get a new battery or keep using the same one. Then I moved on to their cordless miter saw, which I actually think is my favorite because it is very small and light, yet it feels really nice to use. So very portable and I think I'm going to be using it a lot when working on my little shop. So I've got all my cuts ready to start assembling. So this right here is where the tool wall is going to go on this wall. And for construction here, I'm going very basic, simply screws and I'm doing the base unit first. Okay, this is going to be pretty big. Yeah, looks good. And yeah, adding a nailing strip here. And a little basic tip here when attaching a shelf and you want to position it properly is to place the dividers on the sides uh, so you can get an accurate placement to screw the shelf in as opposed to placing the divider in the middle to figure out the distance because then it always gets a little wonky. Now, for the areas that I can't quite reach here, I'm using pocket holes. So we got the bottom piece connected. Next up is the top. And then the most fun of all is figuring out all the little organization holders for for the various tools. Now for the top section, I'm going to add a cubby hole system that will go all around the sides and the top. And this is where I want to store batteries, tools, cases of bits, etc. I wanted to make the cap piece a little deeper so I could use that as a shelf as well. Okay, so I got this um, main unit together. Now I'm going to put on the uh, upper cubby section as well. Then attach this board and the middle board. So to assemble this whole unit, I'm using the Craftsman cordless drill and impact driver. And these Craftsman products can be purchased at Lowe's and at Ace Hardware. These power tools are backed by a three year limited warranty and they're designed for the professional but offered at an accessible price point. So make sure to check out the description for more information. I want the, the colorful tools to really pop. So I'm thinking I'm gonna paint uh, this part, this part white and then to contrast, um, I'm gonna stain this. So I got this painted and stained, and it's time to come up for some solutions to store the tools. So these pistol grips will hold drills, nailers, jigsaw, a bunch of things. Um, so I'm first gluing and nailing and then securing with some screws as well. So I got 
the pistol grip done. Now, I've been looking at this wall here and it just kind of bugs me. I don't love it. So I think what I want to do is cut up some wood that I have around. I've got some big pieces of maple that I'm not using. I'm going to cut it up into thinner pieces and then put that on the back of the wall instead. Now to gain some hooks and extra storage on the sides, I'm adding these VersaTrax and this cut really nicely with a miter saw. It's like a plastic product. And I was thinking it would be nice to have some organization for extension cords, as well as hooks for the air compressor hose inside. charging pistol grips can hold a lot of different tools actually and hold the jigsaw and nailers and that kind of thing as well I have the miter saw here but I don't think I'm gonna use it here I'm just gonna store it here I'll bring it out wherever I need it I really like the idea of having the compressor here permanently and then just having a long cord so that I can use it so it's plugged in here and it has a space which is really nice so like I've been wanting to make a tool wall, like a power tool wall for a while uh, because over there I've been mixing my hand tools and my power tools and I really would like to keep them separate. Um, so this is going to be a dedicated power tool wall as well as you know some hammers and kind of rougher tools like that. I think this is going to be so useful over time to have somewhere to store all these things. I'm really glad I put the wood on the back of the wall. I think that looks a lot nicer, adds a lot more texture. Yeah, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this project. I really did. I love doing this kind of thing. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, anything I wasn't clear about in the video in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here. And I'll see you soon. Bye. What do you think, Darwin? What do you think?